Hello, I'm Maddie. Hello, I'm Greg. Welcome to Magic Week. And all together now, three, two, one. We are <laughs> live! <laughs> it worked! Yes! Here we are, magic. It is week eight of Let's Go Live, episode 34, and you can find oh. us here in our spare room weekday mornings at 11am. For a show of fun and facts. Yeah. Uh, and this week, a lot of magical activities for you to try after the show. Yeah, we are very excited about this week. I don't know if you can tell, uh, but <laughs> every show is going to be jam packed with magic. We've got a daily camera trick that we're going to be showing you. We've got magical makes. And then we've got a very special Let's Go Live Showtime performance at the end of the show with a professional movie. Magician. Today's show, we have mm -hmm. got uh, this guy, Magical Bones, joining us. Uh, he's a fantastic magician. He's performed all over the world. Um, a couple of weeks ago, he was on Britain's Got Talent and he wowed the judges. So it's very, very cool to have him join us at the end of the show to perform one of his favourite tricks. Yeah, so look forward to that. Um, but first of all, let's take a look at what's in store this week. So as you already know, today's show is all about disappearing. Oh. Uh, hang on, you've got to say it. And appearing. Hey, magic. <laughs> so Tuesday, tomorrow's show is going to be about defying gravity or levitation. Ooh. Wednesday is all about potions. Thursday, magic mirrors. And Friday is magical creatures. Right. First of all, if you're joining us live, thank you so much. And if you're catching up later, hello. Um, right, who's in the live chat with us? Let's have a little look. We have got Ella from Bristol. Nice. We have Isla in Devon. Ezra and Ely in Stevenage. Hello, oh. that might be Eli. Hello, uh, Ben and James in Northern Ireland. Hi, guys. Perseus and Nida in Leeds. Hello, we've got Melissa in Oxford. We've Hello. got Lexi in Leicester. Hi. Uh, Chloe and Bobby in Swansea. I've uh, got Paula in Brighton. We have Adriana, Sophia and Daniel in Gravesend as well. Kate and Billy in Ireland. <laughs> Lots, lots of you joining lots. us for Magic Week. Hopefully you are looking forward to it just as much as we are. So if you've always wanted to be a magician or a witch or a wizard, then this is the week for you. Yes, it sure is. Uh, here on Let's Go Live, we like to explore and explain mm -hmm. the world around us. We um, this week we're going to be showing you lots of fun tricks and of course mm -hmm. we will be explaining the science behind them, but we're not going to explain them all. No, no, I think you've got to leave a little bit Bit of room for magic and wonder. Yes. But before we get started with your first magical lesson, you need something to channel your magic through, something very important, and that is a wand. So your wand could be anything. It could be a twig. It could be a pencil. Hmm. Uh, here is my, my wand. It is um, in twig formation, whittled by elves, 12 <laughs> inches, silver birch with a dragon heart string running throughout. What's yours, Greg? My wand. Oh, oh magic magical, bones is magical back. bones How is back. How did he do that? Hello, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it was magic. Weird. It just pops up. Um, <laughs> Tell us about your wand. My wand uh, is, well, let me show you on, on my camera. My wand is ruler formation, uh, 30 <laughs> centimetres long, shatterproof. And what it can do, actually, Maddie, is yeah. it can conjure fact bombs from really? nowhere. Oh, whoa, you need to teach me that trick. That one's cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, all right then. So let's get started. Greg, could you please pass me the enchanted parchment? Thank you so much. I've got um, mm -hmm. got this blank piece of paper. That'll do, that'll do, that's it. That's the enchanted parchment. Careful, careful, that holds a lot of magical properties, Greg. Sure. Now, for my first trick, I've actually added uh, a special magical attachment to the end of my wand. Mm. Um, and now I would like you to take a close look, please, at my, uh, my, my table camera, if you would. There it is. Now, for this trick, to find out what we're going to show you first, we have to say the magical words. And for this one, that is Revelio. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Revelio. Bowl. Nvz. Bowl of... Oh, I've run out of magical properties. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Bowl you got it? Nvisibility. Nvisa. Invis oh, bowl of invisibility. Ooh, the bowl, bowl of, of invisibility. invisibility. Okay, yep. all right. Okay, so... We'll tell you how we did that little trick later on with the enchanted parchment. But first of all, we do need to uh, grasp the basics of magical disappearance, in fact. Okay. So we're going to bring on this. Hang on a minute, see if I can do this. The bowl of invisible? The bowl of invisibility. 
Ooh, gotta get it right. To get here there. it is. You gotta be so careful get because this is full of a very magical solution. Here we go. So in here, we have our magical bowl that is filled with a special kind of liquid. Right. Here it you is. Ready for this? Yeah, here it is. Mm. So it's okay, just, hang on. Yeah, I can see it's just completely full to the brim. Right. And Revelio. What are you doing? Little did you know no. that inside the bowl was in fact another bowl. No. Dun, 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 and it's gone again. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I do actually know how you did this one. This one's you very clever. It's very clever. <laughs> it, it didn't vanish into midair. It vanished into... Vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. It's yeah. a very powerful magical science ingredient. It is. But to understand what's happening here, you have to know a little bit about two special things that light can do. So the first one is reflection. Mm. And uh, that's when, some, when light hit something and bounces off. You see this really, really clearly with a mirror, but we're going to be doing lots of mirror tricks on Thursday. You've actually got reflection to thank for you seeing mm -hmm. anything, right? Any object, you see it because light hits it and mm -hmm. it reflects off back into our eyes. Yes, so you're gonna get another bowl of water yep. to help us explain. Whilst I say the second special thing that light does is actually called refraction, <laughs> you're right. Um, so let me show you what refraction is okay, almost dropped the bowl. <laughs> our second bowl. Okay, almost dropped the bowl. All right, but it's okay. let's not do that. Let's All not right, drop the go. bowl. Okay, you ready? Bowl of water. All right, then. So, right now, my wand is straight, but watch what happens when I put it in the water. Oh, can you see that? So, it should look straight, but it kind of kinks. There's it like a bend does. in it. It almost looks like it's snapped there in the middle, doesn't it? It is bent. So, what's going on here is that light is traveling through the air, then it hits the water and it keeps on going. But when it goes into the water, that light, it actually slows down, which makes it change direction a little bit. Um, and then when it reflects back out to your eye, it looks like it's bent, like my wand, because of that light is going in, slowing down and is changing direction. Clever. So we call this refraction. Oh, oh. Now that refraction happens when light moves from any material <laughs> to another do this? material. I'll we're get just, it, I'll get it. We just lost it. things. Hang on. Hang on, let me put it back to this camera. Good, cover me. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you We've a little bit more. We've got five cameras today, everybody. Okay. So refraction happens whenever light moves from material, from one material into another. So in this particular trick with uh, the wand bending in the water, that is light going from air and into water. And it slows down when it goes into that water. This is the yeah. key thing. Light travels at different speeds through different materials. Light and water, different speeds, mm -hmm. slower mm -hmm. through water. Water. And this is where the magic comes in. Well, the science. Yes, absolutely. So in my bowl over here, the bowl of invisibility, uh, light is traveling through vegetable oil and glass. But here's the thing, light travels through vegetable and vegetable oil and glass at very similar speeds. So therefore it treats them as one material. And because of that, the light doesn't bend, it doesn't refract. So it looks as if the glass and the oil are one object. They are one. Yeah. So without that bending effect, the reflection in the glass just becomes invisible to us. So actually, that is why we can see, well, we can't see the second bowl inside. Very neat. In fact, it's why none of us saw what do, 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 that there was another no. little bottle in there all along. Oh, love. Yeah, because it's also made of glass filled with oil, just like that. Very, very cool. Right. Let me clean up. Now we have mastered the bowl of invisibility. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, we can now move on to our next magical lesson, which ah. means I probably need to pass you this next blank piece of paper. It's, it's enchanted parchment, Greg, I it's think just, you'll find. It's just a blank Can piece I have of... that? Thank you so much. I'm going to put that back down here. All right, so I'm going to put my uh, special attachment back on my wand. Now, if you'd like to say the magical words with me, remember it is Revelio. Oh, that's it. Yeah, so let us find out what our next vanishing trick is going to be. Okay, all together now, everyone watching. One, two, three. Revelio. Revelio. Vanishing. Vanishing. Very good. A little bit more to go. Vanishing. Three, two, one. Revealio. From. Vanishing frame. The vanishing 
frame. The vanishing Greg, frame. Greg, what on earth is the vanishing frame? I have the vanishing frame over here, Maddie. Okay. All right. Here is a vanishing frame. Right. Uh, you can see the frame on there. Uh, what I need you to do is I need to write something right, or okay. draw something yep. inside the frame. All right. Do so you do that. Uh, what I have is I'm going to use my bowl full of water for this one. Mm -hmm. um, that go. frame is really good. Thanks. Nice. <laughs> this frame is really good for drawing on any sort of secret message yeah. or maybe put in a, doing a treasure map and doing a, a secret X marks a spot. Mm -hmm. So I've actually, um, I've drawn fact bomb on a, on your frame, the uh, vanishing frame, because I think we can make it disappear. <laughs> take away your ability to fact bomb. Don't take away my ability. <laughs> you lot like it, right? Okay, all right then, all right. Give, it a, give it a go. So hang on, I need to switch to my bowl camera, all which right. is this one, which is going to be... The there magic go, word for making in. things disappear is Evanesco. For any Harry Potter fans out there, you might be enjoying this. Okay, all so, right. So, uh, ready to say Evanesco? Hang on, there it is. Fact bomb. I am ready. Three, two, one. Evanesco. <gasps> Whoa. <gasps> Whoa, it's gone. What? It's gone. What's Revealio. <laughs> and once more, Evanesco. And what? Revealio. How Whoa. awesome is that? The vanishing frame. It's a really great trick and there's lots Super of very cool, cool science going on here. Super cool. Yeah. Should I tell you about science? Yeah, please do. All right. So Maddie's bowl of invisibility. Mm -hmm. Maddie's bowl of invisibility. <laughs> Sorry, it's thunder anytime I say it. I thought I'd add that in. Oh, like um, that shows us how light can be refracted, how it yeah. can be bent, right? When it travels from material to mm -hmm. material. So there's something going on here. This um, this magical vanishing frame isn't just one sheet of plastic. It's actually three. Here mm. I can show you. Well, like three layers this. there. Oh, not that camera. I can do. It. I want this camera. Here we go. Right. Okay. So it's three bits of plastic. Uh, two two bits of plastic, but there are going to be three layers. So you've got the frame on the front. That's there. Okay. And then on the back, Maddie wrote fact bomb. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's sealed around the side. So there's a thin layer of air in the middle. And it's like a little pocket. Yeah, it's like a little pocket, right? So what happens is when we're looking at this out here in just normal air, light goes in, right? Mm -hmm. And it reflects off back to our eyes and yeah. it's fine. It reflects off the plastic. It goes through the air, it reflects off the back plastic. We see it normally. When I dip that into the water, the light goes into the water, bends a little bit. That's all right. It hits that front sheet of plastic, yeah. reflects back, bends a little bit and we see the frame. Great. Okay. But it goes in, right? And then when it has to travel through that pocket of air, yeah. that's the sandwich of the frame, it bends because right. we know that light bends through different materials. Yeah. And it actually bends so much that it doesn't fall on the words at the back. Oh. So it's like, there's like a dark spot. It's like an invisible patch at the back. Right. So when it bounces back out again, you don't see what's inside the frame. Now, the key with this is that you've got to do it at just the right angle. If you yes. do it at the wrong angle, you can actually see it, which is why we set this camera earlier. Can we do it one more time? It uh, is very yeah. cool. Yeah, all right. Uh, let's go to... Greg's bowl cam. So we have fact bomb and one, two, three, Evanesco. Gone. Yes. Yes. So you still see the frame, but you don't see the words. And Revelio. There, there it, is. it is. You got your fact bomb back. Nice. <laughs> so here's what's great. You could actually have a go at making your own vanishing frame. All you need is some plastic sheet. So maybe a plastic wallet, something like that. And then you seal it really carefully around the ends edges to make a pocket, a waterproof pocket of air. And then just try it at different angles. And yeah, you'll see your words disappear within the frame. All Very right. cool. Um, it's time to reveal our next piece of wizardry. Yes. Uh, Maddie, I'm going to make you appear. Well, we've already done that one. No, 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 done no, it no. twice, actually. Yeah, we have, actually. Yeah. Uh, no, I want to make you appear not once, not twice, but three times in the same photo. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, so let's see if I can do this. Hang on. Here it is. Yeah. Ah, right. All right, then. So I actually, yeah, I know how you did this one because I was there for it. <laughs> it is amazing and lots of fun to try and do. Now, as part of your Let's Go Live magic lessons <laughs> this week, um, taking the place of the quizzes, what instead we're going to do is we're going to do magic tricks that you can do at home after the show with a camera. Yeah. Um, but don't worry, we shall still dance. So now it is... Camera tricks. Dance. Camera trick dance. Can you do? If you're new to Let's Go Live, we always have a little bit of a awkward dance. Oh, the there. camera tricks. Camera tricks. Can you do the camera tricks? We can. Can you? 
What are we like? <laughs> what are we doing? Sorry. Okay. All right then. So here is your first camera trick of the week. It's something we like to call camera clone. Hey, Magical Makers. Today we're exploring the art of camera cloning, making one person appear multiple times in multiple places in one photo. <laughs> the great thing is you can try this at home. All you need is a camera or a grown up with a smartphone and you need to put it into panorama mode because we're going to take a panoramic photo. That's a long and thin one. So here we go. Going to switch this to pano mode. Okay, Maddie, my subject, you need to go to one side of the frame. So let's okay. put you all the way to that side first. Okay, good. And I'm going to start the panoramic. I'm going to slowly pan to one side. And when Maddie is out of the frame, when she's out of the shot, you shout, camera clone. And she runs behind the camera and back into position again. You can come a bit closer, a bit closer, a bit closer. Stop. There she is. Ready? Shout it when she's free. Camera clone. Go, go, go. Oh no. Oh no. Ah, oh, I mucked it up. I thought I was like, I'm definitely in shock. It's really tricky. Okay, let's go again, let's go again. Oh yeah, nice counting, like it, clever. One. Okay, panning off you. Wait till you're free. Wait till you're free. Camera clone. Okay, she's running round behind the camera. Getting yourself, come closer, come closer, come closer, come closer. Stop. Panning onto her, yes. Camera clone! The key is, go. don't move! Go. Go. If you're go. the one having your photo go. taken! Go! Yes, Mads! And stop! <laughs> Can I have a look? <laughs> Yay! That looks really good! One, two, yeah. three! Yes! <laughs> you have to keep so still when, the, when you're panning across. So it's really much fun, though. fun. And if you're doing it with more than one other person, yeah. see how many times you can get different people appearing in one photo. Yeah, I bet you can get more than three. <laughs> Have a go. Can't wait to see it. Back to you in the studio. Way! So there you go. That is how you can use the panorama mode to do a camera clone. Uh, it's a fun little phone hack that uh, we really enjoy doing. We'd love to see your attempts at camera cloning. So if you do uh, take some photos, ask a grown up to send them to our email address. Hello, let's go live at gmail.com. Every great. day this week, we're going to give you a different camera trick to yes. try later in the show. Yeah. So uh, yeah, can't wait to see that one. That should get you started. Shall we do our selfie? Good idea. Should we do Let's a selfie? Do that. Yes. Shall I, okay. um, shall I bring that picture up? Yeah. All right then. Smaller. All right. Hang on. How about that? Fantastic. That. All right, okay. I'm going to use my wand, and I've got one of my enchanted I'm gonna, parchments. I'm going to put on one of the magical top hats because okay. you can't do magic. Well, there we go. Oh, I'm going to hold my going to hold my wand up. Absolutely. Yours is ruler formation, you know. Right. If you're Very new to powerful. Let's Go Live, we like to take an awkward selfie every day. So put one of you in front of the screen or take a selfie of yourself. Uh, we like to count down to it. So I hang do. on, just make sure I got my ruler in shot. Right. There we go. Got Three, it. two, one. Ding. It's, it's the, the awkward magical, a magical selfie. <laughs> I always just look like I'm grimacing. Okay, good. Okay, good. We're done. <laughs> we should have made ourselves disappear again. Never oh, mind. We should have made ourselves. Just... It's all good. It's all good. You can't just do that sort of thing on demand, Maddie. Oh. It's, uh, it's actually very, very hard. Oh, Greg, Greg, <laughs> bring us back. Bring us back. Bring us back. There we go. All right then. <laughs> okay. Should I just say, um, if you do take an awkward selfie, please do share it with us on the socials. This is yeah. us on uh, Twitter and Instagram. We love seeing all the pictures that you share. Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we uh, we get our showtime performance at the end of the show from our professional magician, Magical Bones, we are going to show you how to create your own enchanted paper. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay, so if we take a look down here, uh, you can see our two uh, revealed enchanted papers already. There they are. We've got the bowl invisibility and we had the vanishing frame. But this is how you can do it. Your uh, magic ingredients are a piece of enchanted uh, paper, parchment, or just white paper. Uh, mm -hmm. You're going to need a, uh, a wand with a magic attachment, aka a, um, a, paintbrush. a paintbrush. Then you're going to want either a white wax crayon or a birthday candle, something like that will do. And then you're going to want some paints that you can water down. So you want really watery paints to do the trick. So if I'm now going to write a word on this, Greg. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if anyone can guess what they think I'm going to write. Okay. All right. 
Hmm, what do we think she's writing? There you go. You got right. it? You done yep. it? You done it? All right, now, I'll go back to your camera. So the way that we reveal this is to get our watered down paint and then we will just swoosh that over the word. Mm-hmm. There we go. But um, why? Why does this work, Greg? Why, why is the word going to be revealed? Right, so you've written this one in wax. I have. Right, you said um, that there are also other things you can write yeah, it in as well. Yeah, um, you can use sun cream yep. and you can use laundry detergent as well. I just find that this is the easiest to write things. Nice, right. Messages in. A candle or something. Yeah. yeah. So um, wax is, uh, we call it hydrophobic. Mm. So hydro means water, phobic means afraid of or yes. fear of. So essentially it's scared of water. What it actually means is that water can't form on it. It kind of beads up and runs off. Mm-hmm. So the water runs off, leaving that bit white, mm-hmm. colouring the rest of the page. Nice. Wax and water do not get on. So this is a really fun thing you could try at home. Again, we'd love to see what you do with it. Maybe you could make some treasure maps or send secret messages to each other. But it's time to reveal it. So I am going to paint over. And here we go. Ah, ha, ha. Can you see it? That is says, it working? That says science. Science. There you science. are. Science. Very science. good. Very good. Now, the reason that uh, that one says science is because we thought that what we've been doing is showing you some amazing magic tricks and showing you the science behind them. Mm-hmm. Not all of them, but some of them. What we want to do is now show you something at the end of every show uh, where some science and technology looks like magic. Well, it's real world magic. Right? Yeah. So today is a bit of tech mm-hmm. uh, that allows you to send a message a really long way and make something appear on the other end. In space. Ooh, right, in space. Really, okay, really so cool. have a look at this. This is what it is. This is what we're talking about. Boom. This is a 3D printer. There is one of these orbiting around our Earth right now on a space station. Yeah, it's a 3D Whoa. printer and it can receive messages from Earth. So there is a lot of technical equipment on board the International Space Station, the ISS. And if something breaks, then they need a replacement part. But the nearest shop is going to be about 250 miles away. Just going out back in a couple of days. (laughs) So they need another solution, don't they? And that is a 3D printer. So they can print their 3D replacement parts. That's the magic of this amazing bit of tech. It can print in 3D whatever the astronauts one. So I've actually got some footage of this, man. So, ah, so this is the 3D printer in action. Now, sending messages like this, sending messages like this might sound like magic, but it's actually really cutting edge science and technology. It's like the ultimate vanishing and appearance act. It Don't sure is. Yeah. Just think scientists down on Earth, they make a digital drawing. This disappears off into outer space and it appears as a real life object somewhere that's not even on our planet. Wow. How insane is that? Love real that. world magic, guys. Absolutely real world magic. That. Oh, hang on. Here you go. Thank I you. Think I think we're ready for this what's, now. Um, what's the popcorn for? It's Come snacks. On. Snacks for the magic show, right? Yes. So at the beginning of the show and throughout, we have been teasing our uh, special show time at the end of the show with our professional magician, Magical Bones. <laughs> yeah, he's performed all over the world. Um, he's just wowed the judges on Britain's Got Talent. Mm-hmm. And, and he's here for us to mm-hmm. show you one of his favourites vanish... One... Popcorn mouth? Popcorn mouth. <laughs> okay, rewind. We'll edit it out. We won't. We're live. Hang on. I'd like to introduce you to Magical Bones, right? He's an amazing magician. He's performed all over the world. He's just wowed the judges mm-hmm. on Britain's Got Talent. And he is here for you to show you one of his favourite tricks. I cannot wait to see this. Smooth, couldn't tell. Here we go. Hey, what's up? Let's go live. Hi, Maddie and Greg. Hope you're all good. Remaining safe. My name's Magical Bones. I am a street magician, also a break dancer. And today I want to show you one of my favourite coin tricks. It's the vanishing and reappearing coin trick. Um, So without further ado, let's check it out. Today I want to teach you a magic trick. So grab yourself a coin and I'm going to perform this for you first, right? So check this out. Tilt this down. All right, so you grab a coin. It doesn't matter what coin you use. And what you're going to do is you're going to make the coin jump from here and come to here. Like I said, I'm going to teach you, and this is a lot of fun. So... The secret is you actually use two coins. So here's what you do. You take this coin and you're actually going to make it invisible, right? So you make that coin invisible there. You do the same thing with this coin. So make that coin invisible like that. And then obviously when you want to bring it back, you grab it from here and there you go. Bang. You see how it comes back. Like I said, this is done with 
two coins. Um, so just to recap, so you understand, take this coin, make it invisible, and you do exactly the same thing with this coin. You grab it, you make it invisible. So I hope you like that. Hope that was a good explanation for you guys. Um, keep practicing, show it to your friends, and enjoy. <laughs> I don't, I have no idea. I do, I have no idea how he did that at all. <laughs> He's throwing fact bombs out there. Love it. That's not a fact bomb. That was like mind blown. That was mind blown. Yeah. Three times. Magical You can do that without amazing. your ruler now and everything. Oh, You're getting no, so I, good. No, I, I do. Uh, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. <sighs> That was so good. And um, that is pretty much it mm -hmm. for our first magical show, but we're not done just yet. No, we really hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow, we're going to be looking at how to make things defy gravity. Oh, levitation. <laughs> <laughs> before, we go, before we go, though, last week on Let's Go Live was Oceans Week. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't yet caught Friday's show, please do go back and have a watch. Uh, we dived in a submersible down into the deep ocean and met lots of the weird and wonderful creatures that live there. Uh, lots of you had loads of fun over the weekend uh, crafting your ocean creations so let's see just a couple of them uh, we see so many photos and we love every single one but uh, let's start now with Evie hang on one second okay no problem Evie has actually made a deep sea adventure kit with a plastic wallet you might remember this from Friday's episode uh, and you can just see her diver there is shining a torch on an orca Next up's Caleb, who made this huge lion's mane jellyfish out of a mixing bowl, pipe cleaners, string, and loads of other things. It's so good. It's yeah. even taller than him. This is Liliana, who's ready to go on her deep sea adventure with her torch to see all of the animals at the bottom of the sea. Here's Flynn, made his own submersible and launcher out of Lego, and he's got a diver who's ready to jump in. Nice. Uh, Harry made his own upcycled bag out of an old tie-dye t-shirt, and his brother James had loads of fun making one too. This is Emily, who created her own ocean layers model and even included the depths of the Mariana Trench. Nice. Rihanna and Luke, they were really creative and they actually made a density column to represent the different Ooh, layers of love. the ocean. Here is Isaac, who wanted to join us on our underwater adventure. So he made this amazing sub. Look, he's, he's even so made good. another one for all of his toys. And yes. here, Caitlin and Eloise made a giant game of straws and <gasps> reusables, which is our ocean helper version of snakes and ladders. Great oh, work, girls. Wow. And last up, Noah made this fantastic coral reef diorama with help from his brother, Toby. Um, that is so good but there's more Noah has actually sent us a little video mm -hmm. to tell us all about it yeah Here let's watch hello Maggie and Greg my name is Noah and I have made a coral reef and kelp forest I have made some fish which can move up and down and some of them can move across as well I have made a, a one that can a dolphin that can Come dive in and out of the water. Whoa, so good. Lots of nifty little tricks in there. And this week, we cannot wait to see your magical wands and your vanishing acts and all the tricks that we show you throughout the week. Uh, just remember, all the photos we use in the show come from our email address. Hello, let's go live at gmail.com. So you just need to get a grown up to send them to us. Yes, please. Uh, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, there's a little subscribe button underneath this video. Go ahead and click that and you'll get a little notification if you click the bell as well mm -hmm. anytime we go live or put up a new video. Before we go, let's just say hello to a few more people in the live chat. Yes, let's do that. We have Jess and have... Emmy in Aylesbury. Hello. Uh, we also have Charlotte and Isaac in Huddersfield. Hi. We have Finley and Harrison in Earsham. Hello. We have Sarah or Sarah Maud and <laughs> Jesse in Leytonstone. Stanley, Anna and May in Glasgow. Uh, we have George and Evie in Belfast. Bronwyn in Chester. Uh, Travis in Liverpool. We have... Oh, and they're moving so hard. Ralph says hi. Stanley, Anna, and we've had that one already. <laughs> uh, Avalyn and Chloe in Halifax. Evan, Jess in East Yorkshire. Ralph, there are so many people. Thank you so much, you lot. You're amazing. Yeah, absolutely. We need a trick to slow down our live chat. That's something we do need oh, to learn. That would be really good, actually. Right. <sighs> we will see you tomorrow to learn all about levitation. And uh, don't you forget to stay curious. Yes. Greg, are you ready? Oh, I'm so ready. Three, two, one. Bye. We've gone. <laughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs>